Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hassleconsulting.com, go there if you got questions. We have a young man writes, I'm not even, I know, I, I, a lot of times they say, oh yeah, you can use my name, but then they're like, oh God, don't use my name. So I'm just gonna say, a young man writes. Hi there, Arsul. I'm, uh, I'm currently nearing the end of my biology degree at a top 10 British university, which focuses on the plant sciences. Currently my grades is equivalent to a 4.0 GPA. Oh, good. I'm not, I'm not slamming on your degree because biology sucks. It's probably the worst degree ever because you study as hard for a STEM degree because it is a STEM degree, but your employment prospects are jack fucking shit. During this year, I've contacted a lot of the plant science professors at the university to ask for work experience. Eventually, I got a reply from a world-leading scientist specializing in plant photobiology. This is a field of study of how light affects plant behavior and growth. A photosynthesis, right? I fucking remember high school. I know what I'm doing. I will avoid explaining the specifics because it would take reading a lot of scientific studies to understand and it would not be relevant beyond the... Well, quit telling me it's not relevant, Jesus Christ! <sighs> this is because depending on how you manipulate... Okay, I'm skipping this. She replied quickly and accepted me under the condition that I learn and understand her research, which I'm happy to comply with. Whenever I have conversations with one another to talk about her research, she is very enthusiastic and excited to have me help out. This position will involve going to conferences with her, learning and utilizing advanced practical techniques in the laboratory, a weekly meeting where we discuss the research she's doing together. It will last about three months because after my at that, my contract at my apartment I am renting will end. Then I will have to start to use my $12,000 savings in order to continue it full time, which is not viable. So I asked him, are you getting paid for this? Because I was stupid. I thought he'd keep getting paid for work. He went to school. He might learn something after four years. He might want to get paid. And no, he's not getting paid. <laughs> Academian dick. <laughs> Maybe we could attach a jackhammer to the dick to just go right down your throat. So I have three questions I would like answered. I am happy to pay additional fees if needed. Firstly, how do I utilize the time that I have to gain the most industry context, the highest quality work experience, and have a close professional relationship with the professor in order to help me place my first paid job? Okay. If you really, really want to continue down this route of biology, you're going to have to blow her mind away. You're going to have to, I mean, you're doing it. You sound professional. I'm, I, I think you just got fucked by academia, frankly. But how, how do you utilize your time? You go to work, see if there's anything else. You become indispensable to this person. You've already fucked yourself over for the next three years, not getting paid. So you make it. So she's like, fuck, I need this guy. And then you say, well, yeah, I need to be paid because I'm, I, I'm taking off otherwise. Um, so that's a, and then, yeah, when uh, when she goes to these conferences or whatever, yeah, talk to people and all that. I'm, I'm gonna explain why I think your, your strategy is flawed though. The highest quality of work experience, um, well, you're not working, you're a slave. Let's be very clear about that. Work, you get paid for. You are not getting paid for. You are a slave. So how to get the best slave experience? Uh, and have a p close professional relationship with the professor in order to help me get my first paid job, you just got to do what she says. You just got to, like I said, make yourself indispensable. Second, how do I best sell this experience to future employers that do not personally know me if I do not get a job through industry contacts? Well, I mean, with biology, I mean, you're going to be doing very specific things and other biologists will know that. They'll read it on your resume. So, I mean, your resume, it's not like in business where it's like, Streamline synergies to bring about increased efficiencies in our corporate strategy department. It's not pablum like that. I mean, you are in a STEM field. Things are very specific. So I just say whatever you're working on with your professor, yeah, absolutely. Just list it and they'll know, oh, wow. He, and then hopefully, hopefully, and I mean, you have to have more hope than the entire black community had in Barack Obama and his bullshit. Hopefully, someone with money will hire you uh, because you have a particular skill set or experience with, you know, I don't know, protozoans or, or not protozoans, what do they call them? Metazoans, whatever. 
uh, oh wow, he's an expert at meiosis. Holy shit, look at him. He does the splicing of the genes a certain way. So um, that's what I would do. Finally, how can I use industry context to get a job? Well, you just meet them and look, you sound like a cocksucking ass kisser. So already you're going to do good. I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean this as in a skill. You're willing to go out and network. You're willing to work for free. You're willing to get screwed over. You're willing to do that. So, I mean, just go to these, you know, say, get a Rolodex, get the card. Scan them in. Another thing I would do is on the back of their card, write something unique and personal about them. Like find out if they have a dog. Find the dog's name. Do they have children? Oh, how are the children? The wife. Oh, the wife works in this. Something that if you were to ever call them again, oh, hi, Bill. Uh, I met you, da, 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 da. How's uh, Fluffy, the bunny? Oh, you remembered Fluffy the bunny. Oh, I never had any of these dipshit millennial kids remember Fluffy the bunny. Matter of fact, they never asked me about Fluffy. He's Hassan's effort now, you know. So, so uh, but yeah, I, here's here's the problem I'm going to explain to you. Um, you majored in, like I said, probably the worst degree possible because you put forth all this effort, enough effort that you could have had a real degree like in engineering. And biology technically is a real degree. No one hires biology majors. You need to get a doctorate or a master's. And here's the other thing. You have to listen to what the world is telling you, okay? Who are you currently not working for but slaving for? <gasps> oh, that's right, an academian, all right? Why do academians have jobs? Uh, not because they're producing anything of value. They have it because basically they're a political force and they get government grants to go do their little pet projects. If the real world, the private sector, actually wanted something, don't worry, Merck, Abbott Labs, uh, you know, Medtronic, They'll figure it out. They will spend billions to get it done. All right. But right now you're in a, a bubble economy that it's on artificial life support. It shouldn't even exist. This is why you're not getting paid because there's no money. Your professor probably had, you know, this is not to accuse her of this, but I'm, I'm betting, uh, if not her, definitely a good amount of, of these uh, academics have this pet project. They wanted funding. They got it. No one's going to buy it. So there is no real money. They have to go and beg and just doing what you're doing, kiss ass and brown nose at conferences to maybe get some fucking government money to fund their little pet project that no one ever asked for or wanted anyway. There is no demand for this. This is why there's a glut of biology majors and why you're not getting paid because she probably doesn't have the budget or the funding. So what you're going to be, your world is basically one of academia and government grants. You're going to have to suck cock. You're going to have to kiss ass. And frankly, 90% of your work is not going to be biology. You may have had a passion for it, just like I did economics. You may know a lot. You could be the best biologist ever. I am quite literally one of the greatest economists ever. Figured out all these bubbles before they happen. No one wants to, you know what? They want you to suck their dick. They want you, do you want grant money? Suck my dick. You want business experience? What do you think you're doing to your professor? You're sucking her dick. You're, you're, not, you're not getting paid. You're her bitch. You gotta listen to what the universe is telling you. And right now they're saying, there ain't no money in this field. And you're gonna go down this road like, how do I get contacts? How do I, are you sure you don't wanna work for Goldman Sachs? You sure you don't wanna work for Morgan Stanley or Wall Street? You know, you sure you wanna make a good salesman? Uh, maybe you could become a, a, a pastor, get a mega church, because you seem like you're willing to be slime and lie and just get contacts. Okay, oh, yeah, you live in that world. Yeah, okay, yeah. Dude, do you want to do biology? Do you want to do science? Or do you want to be a salesman? Okay, I don't think you can do it. I think they're mutually exclusive. Right? So you're going to have to get a doctorate or a master's at least. Uh, I mean, shit, talk to Roosh V. He was a microbiologist. All he did was lab work. I know another person very close to me. Uh, she got a goddamn doctorate. In biology, she doesn't do biology. She flies around and goes to conferences and tries to get other people's money because no one wants to fund her shit. So, dude, I mean, yeah, to answer your questions directly, yes. Kiss ass and suck cock. Become your. I mean, are you hot? Are you good looking? Is she like fuckable? I mean, can you like maybe? Ah, eh, that probably ruin your reputation. That violates some rules. I was just going more on the the baseline of you know uh, human desires uh but yeah you you're just fucked dude you're just fucked so what i would say is you really consider whether you want to be in biology if you do just go get your doctorate and don't expect great shit okay uh but with a bachelor's you're just going to be people's bitch you're just going to be their little their little boy to fetch things you're their little gopher um you could go ahead and try your best 
I would try to get outside of academia and maybe go work for Merck or Abbott Labs. Uh, but dude, about the only real thing you're going to be doing is like lab assistant, the shit work that you're doing for your professor, grant writer, professional beggar from taxpayer money. And maybe if you go to the private sector, you become a you know, lab technician or something like that. Or you go and become a teacher. This is photosynthesis. This is meiosis and mitosis. Let's do the fruit fly experiment. Wasn't that fun, children? <laughs> and, uh, th and even then, you got to go back to school to get your degree or your master's in uh, or your education certificate because you're not smart enough to teach, you see. Yeah, I'm sorry. You just got hoodwinked on this degree, dude. So um, I, uh, what I would do... Look at the military, then I hire you as an officer, and then retrain in the military in IT or something else, uh, because this is going to be an uphill battle. I'm ba basically, this is your version of me trying to get into banking. It's just going to be an uphill battle because you do not understand the true nature of this industry. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I do. Anyway, hope that helps, kid. Toodles.